Hello, I'm Dr. Nishan Walker, and let me take you through some of the concepts of adaptive learning. As you know, adaptive learning has become a, a very popular name now in online education. Everyone wants to do a personalized education so that the experience is very personal and individual rather than one size fits all. So in the brain-based adaptive learning system that we have developed, uh, we have learning strategies and there are five different learning strategies, namely apprentice, incidental, inductive, deductive and discovery. And that is very important for an adaptive learning system to have five, several different learning strategies. So with those strategies, you can provide distinctively different learning experience and then adapt to the individual learning strategy. So the apprentice model works, the way it works is that uh, it's step-by-step -step learning. So it's given a procedure. So let's take an example. Let's say if you were trying to change uh, a tire of your car because uh, you had a flat tire. So I can give you a list of steps that you have to follow in order to change your flat tire. And that would essentially become step-by-step -step learning or apprentice learning. Or I can uh, be your mentor and I can show you steps and say this is how you change the tire and step one, step two, step three, that's apprentice. Let's say if I give you a, a story that uh, I was going on a highway and then I had a flat tire, then I got out of the car, opened the trunk, got out my spare tire and this is how I changed it. That storytelling or scenario based is called incidental learning. So now let's say uh, instead of giving you the story, I come up with a video where you can actually see someone changing the uh, tire, flat tire uh, and there is a complete video on uh, the situation and is, this is an example of someone else uh, doing the act of changing the flat tire. That would be called inductive learning because it's example based learning. Or let's say if I create now an animation of a car going through and then I show the flat tire and then you can animate that whole process of uh, opening your uh, trunk and taking out the spare tire, putting it uh, instead of the flat tire. That whole process in an animated environment will be called deductive because you are learning by doing and that animation is allowing you to do certain processes. And finally, I can put you in a completely three-dimensional environment where you are driving a virtual car and you happen to have a virtual flat tire. Then you have to go out as an avatar and do the entire process in a three-dimensional game-like environment and you discover how difficult or how uh, important it is to do certain processes for changing the flat tire. That would be called discovery-based learning. So again, there are five different uh, learning strategies, apprentice, incidental, inductive, deductive and discovery. So when you take a content and present it in these five different learning strategies and then you provide them in intelligent feedback saying that which learning model is working best for you, that's when system is able to adapt to an individual learning strategy that is the preference for the learner. And what we have observed that not only students learn differently, but they learn different content differently. So going from math to physics to history to geography, you may have a completely different learning strategy. And I think that is very effective way of using these cognitive learning strategies to connect to your brain-based learning models. Thank you.